Hi, this is Patty Bennett. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! 2017 Holiday Catalog Product Highlight Series. Today, we are featuring the Spooky Night Suite. You can see all these great projects that I have made. Here is a quick look at the designer paper and the stamp set. I am going to be reviewing each of these items in depth to give you a great look at all of these products. You'll find them in the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. This is the 2017 Holiday Catalog. Starts September 1st, 2017. And way in the back, you'll find the Spooky Night suite of products and great cute samples. So up here is the stamp set we'll be talking about. Here is the Cat Punch, which is highly, highly popular, as well as some beautiful black lace crochet trim, treat tubes, and some other fun, fun products that I'm going to be showing you. The paper is called Spooky Night, and the stamp set is called Spooky Cat. Like I mentioned, there is this wonderfully fun cat punch. It is just adorable. And you might notice right off the bat that you're going to be able to punch out the cat images in this paper. So I'm going to show you some samples doing that technique. Super easy. And I wanted to show you all of these fun treats so that you can be inspired to go ahead and make some treats to hand out this Halloween. Let's look at these cute treat bags to begin with. You can see here that I did indeed punch out the orange and black cat right out of that paper with the punch. And I also hand cut with my paper snips these cute little hats so that each cat could have a hat. Isn't that fun? And then, yes, there's also pumpkins, so I went ahead and cut those out of this piece and added them. This just makes for a really quick little treat bag. And these are the two inch by eight inch treat bags. They're cellophane bags. And you get, how many do you get? 50, you get 50 of these in a pack. So you can't go wrong with this purchase. And I just filled it with some of these orange slices because they were nice and colorful. And you know, you could fill them with any kind of Halloween treats, but that's what I grabbed and filled out. And then I've made tags with some of the stamps in the set, as well as some die cuts. I tied both of them up with the great new black vintage cro crochet trim. And this is really nice. What's fun about this is you could use this for lots of different seasons. I would even use this for a wedding or something really fancy because it's just got such an elegant look to it. But yet when you use it on a Halloween treat, it becomes kind of spooky and fun and scary. So I thought those were just adorable. While we're talking about treats, let's look at this adorable treat. This is a package of three test tubes. Now you will get 12 of these in a package. They're plastic and they have the little cork stopper. I filled mine with candy corn and then I put three of them together in a three by six cello bag. On the tag, I die cut with this pattern, layered it onto a black die cut and then, like I was showing you on the last project, I just used my paper snips and I cut out pumpkins right out of this pack, this pattern. So that was super quick. Now here's a fun tip I want to show you. You'll notice this Happy Halloween right here on the tag. I grabbed this paper and I stamped this stamp right across there and then cut out that strip. Just something a little different. I thought that turned out really cute. And then I have the glimmery black satin ribbon, which is in the 
the excuse me the annual catalog and it really is glimmery it's very pretty and then this is the gray and white gingham but I sponged yellow on it just to kind of tie in the yellow with the candy so that's just a fun little you know just something different and then again some of the lace trim that holds on the tag speaking of the stamp set I stamped the owl from the spooky cat stamp set onto this paper this is just a six by six piece of it. There are actually 16 of these little squares on your 12 by 12. So you can see there that the owl just sits right on that branch. I know Stampin' Up! planned it that way, but I just think it's so super clever. I've embellished this with some of the new black rhinestones right here. I thought about giving him black eyes and making them kind of sparkle. I might try that. I think that would be kind of fun. I also, as I mentioned in the previous project, cut out a hat from this paper and, and just put it on his head there. You could also stamp this hat, but I think it might be a little bit big for the owl. I think it would be a little more in proportion with the cat. So very simple. Pizza box. Is this too cute? I used a piece of the designer paper all the way around the edge. Let me show you what those pizza boxes look like. So they come in a package like this. And I believe you get eight. Yes, there are eight in the pack. Everything is pre-cut and pre-scored. And they are matte white on one side, glossy on the other. And super, super easy to, to fold up and put together. There is no adhesive needed, no cutting, no punching. You just fold it up. And you can do either the glossy side in or out. On this one, I did it on the out side, but you can put it on the inside. That way, if you wanted to put a cookie or something in here, then you wouldn't have any grease going through. So that's just fabulous. These are so cute. I think these are just going to be awesome for treats. Before I share the details of my next few projects, I do want to remind you, if you are viewing this in September or October 2017, be sure to hop over to pattystamps.com and download your holiday tic-tac-toe sheet because when you purchase specific products from me, from the holiday catalog, you can earn lots of fun free prizes and those black rhinestones and pizza boxes are two of the four prizes you can earn. On these two cute note cards, I used the thick vanilla note card, new in the annual catalog. I did the same thing that I showed you on the pizza box, stamped the owl on this paper, and then I cut that out, but I die cut a window from the Hearth and Home window framelit, so that it looks like you're looking out through the window. I've just punched the cat again with this super great cat punch and the printed paper. And then I used two of the other patterns in the paper pack to make it look sort of like a wallpaper. So here are the two patterns that I used for the wall to make it look like wallpaper. And then this would be the third pattern on this project that's back here with the owl. Of course, two more, the cat and the hat patterns as well. So I've used half of the patterns on these two cards. And then that little trick I showed you about stamping on this striped paper, I did with the Trick or Treat and Hall Happy Halloween to add to these cards. For these two adorable treat bags, I have used eight of the 12 patterns in this package of designer paper. I used the mini treat bag thinlet and this is what I would used to die cut and put together these cute little bags. So cute. So you could put candy in them, you could put a cello bag with candy, you could put pencils, you could put a gift card, you can put a small note card. There are lots of things you can do with these. The little note cards that Stampin' Up! sells in Whisper White and Vanilla also will fit right in there. So you could even just make it 
be like a fun little um, envelope in a way. So that would be really cute. So let's run through the paper that I've used. So for the two bags, I used these two papers. So those are the basis of the bags. And then I've decorated them with this pattern, the polka dot pattern, and the stripe pattern. And then of course I used the cat punch to punch out the cats, and I cut out the hats, and I also cut out the pumpkins. So there's eight patterns on these, but yet I think they are really cute. And this fun little For You die cut is in the mini treat bag. It's right here. I'm sure it's hard to see backwards, but it does say For You. So I thought that was a fun thing. Enjoy is also in there. So since I had this out, I just decided to go ahead and die cut those. Both bags also feature the great lace ribbon that we were talking about, the black vintage lace, as well as the fun black rhinestones. One more product that I don't want you to overlook, and it's actually on one of the pages with Christmas, is this black and white wire edge ribbon. It's gonna make great bows because of the wire edge. This is going to be a lot of fun for Halloween as well as for any of your black and white projects. I saved my very favorite Halloween treat project for last. I think this turned out so cute and I'm excited to show you how I made this. So the actual box was die cut using this beautiful foil frenzy paper. You can see the beautiful colors and patterns that come in this package. And I used the Tangerine Tango print because of the orange. All of these are just on heavy craft paper and they're blank on the other side. I die cut the box with the window box die. So I used this piece and you just cut it out twice and attach the two together and fold it up and you get this adorable box. So it opens like that and you can put treats inside and then it just tucks back together. So cute. I used a one inch wide piece of this pattern around the um, circumference, I guess you'd call that, around the outside. And then I also used a little piece, it's a scalloped circle, of this pattern right here as my middle of the three layers on top. So those are the two pieces I used on this. I'm going to link below here to the Stampin' Up! video that shows you how to put this box together. So if you haven't watched that, then you can watch it on the Stampin' Up! video and I don't have to take the time to show you that right now. But I did want to show you a couple of tips for this. Now you might be thinking, hmm, look at that pretty black doily. Where did you get that? Well, I used the Stampin' Up! Metallic doilies. This is the larger of the two sizes. The package comes with gold and silver and in two sizes. And I grabbed one of the large ones. I flipped it over. It's white on the other side. I used my Memento Black ink pad and a sponge dauber and I just got ink on here and I just daub, 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 daub and I turned it black. Isn't that cool? I think it is so awesome for Halloween. The white or the silver or the gold would have looked equally as fun, but I wanted to try that and it turned out so cute. I just love it. Then I used one of the banner die cuts and stamped Trick or Treat from the stamp set, Spooky Cat. And then my last fun little tip, did you see these sparkly orange dots? Well, if you watched my uh, Facebook Live, I explained how I did this. If you missed that, I'm gonna show you very quickly what I did. I took the White Perfect Accents and I went on Amazon and I bought these glitter Sharpies 
and I colored them. These are the six colors that came in my pack. And I was noticing how amazing the orange coordinates with the pumpkin pie accents on this box. So I colored a bunch of them orange and I used it to decorate the banner. Isn't that so cute? I just think this is adorable. And I just wrapped some pumpkin pie ribbon around the outside. And a little tip about that is I put a glue dot under each section so that the ribbon would stay and it wouldn't fall down. I liked the ribbon around the edge so that when, when you open the box, you're not having to untie it. You can just open it, get out the treats, and then you still have the cute little ribbon. I hope you are inspired to create fun Halloween treats and projects with this great Halloween suite of products from Stampin' Up. Again, they are all available in my online store. You just need to click shop online at pattystamps.com. Please leave me a message or a comment, thumbs up, whatever you'd like, and I'd be happy to help you. I can send you a catalog or help you put together an order for your products. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day.